Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today, let's try to understand custom roles as a cloud architect. When to use custom roles, when not to use it. So let's get started. So this is the official documentation which talks about custom roles. Uh, so when to use, when not to use it. Uh, for people who are looking at custom roles for the first time, a quick intro about or a quick brief about it so in gcp there are three different types of roles one is primitive role which is very broad try to avoid it as much as possible roles like owner editor all those things the next kind of roles which you have is called as predefined roles i'm a great fan of predefined roles because that's fully managed by google and usually roles are comprised of permissions so whenever google adds a new permission to a specific role it's automatically updated but not every time predefined role will fulfill your requirement. Maybe if you have a role which is having 15 permissions and you want to remove two of them and make a role which is going to have only 13 permissions. In that case, you need to definitely use something called as custom roles. So looking into this custom roles documentation is very, very important. The reason is once if you look into it, you'll come to know custom roles are user defined. And if you just look into this entire paragraph, what comes to your understanding is this is not managed or maintained by Google. So you have to update your permissions whenever Google adds a new feature. So that's very, very important. So uh, it's going to be a overhead or if you don't have any other option, you have to create a custom role. Please add your uh, in your design document mention. This is a custom role. So there should be some operations work involved where you need to add the new permissions to your custom role so how do i know when a new permission is added very simple come to this page where it talks about um, the change logs and this is going to be updated continuously and the latest change log if you see it was on 2nd of november now for example if we take compute engine so for compute engine related so sorry for compute engine service the latest role which was added was uh, so latest permission which was added was these many good number of permissions have been added so let's just copy one permission and usually the permission would be in of the form service dot resource name dot verb now let me just copy this go to my IAM and search for compute compute admin and search for that permission whether it's really added or not so if I do control F it is added similarly you can do the other thing also say for example global network global endpoint groups delete let's verify it it's there so almost like 525 permissions are added now i also created a custom role long back so if i just click on this you see this custom compute admin so if i just click on that details it will also show me when it was created so in the description it shows it was created on 8th of july 2020 so if you look into the change logs the last change log was on november 2nd of november so there's a huge gap now what you see is look at this so if i search for the permission which was added will not be there so and if you can quickly see almost like 70 Roughly around 20, 75 here and uh, 50 there. More than 125, 126 permissions are added after I created this custom role. So what this line basically means is whenever you create your custom roles, if you feel this permission, for example, this permission is important for you, you have to manually copy this. Now click on edit role and add this permission manually is what they are trying to say so so just click on add permission then permission it will show up now it is 451 so if i select this add 452 go and save it it's going to update so this is going to be a slightly an overhead so whenever you're designing whenever you're designing it and you have no other option but to go with custom rules please make sure you add a clause that there's some extra operation work required. So this is the important thing. So which I wanted to convey today. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.